have our first main celebrity on Gardening with Guttner. It's Joan Benoit Samuelson. Joan, we know about all of your athletic accolades. I mean, gold medal, uh, Boston Marathon winner twice, by the way. But gardening? Yeah, gardening's a big part of my life. It's um, a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. It keeps me in shape. Uh, people think I lift weights, but I just work in the gardens. And, That's so uh, funny. You know, I'm very holistic with my training, and that goes for the running and, and the cycling and everything, the skiing. But this is what really grounds me and brings me home. Master Gardener, um, what, what got you, how do you become one? What got you interested in it? Well, when we moved onto the property, I became very interested in gardening. My mother had a perennial garden growing up, but was not a vegetable gardener. And I wanted more vegetable gardening than perennial or annual gardening myself. So I first went for the vegetable garden and then I decided that I would put in a perennial garden. In. But what I like about this garden is the peonies and I learned how to care for the peonies um, and all my flowers and all my plants organically through the Master Gardener program, which is um, you know, offered through the University of Maine Extension Service. You know, once the peonies come and go, I pretty much lose sight of this garden and, and spend most of my time in the vegetable garden because that feeds the family, it feeds the neighbors, and it feeds the local food pantry. Well, maybe we should go check out the vegetable garden then. Sure. <laughs> I'm assuming all this is in an effort to keep out all the critters, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> yep. What do we got here? This is eel grass. This I stored, uh, stockpiled from last year because it usually doesn't come in until early July and maybe it'll come in a little earlier this year. I mean, when you say come in, come in it on a tide, right? It washes up on the shore. On, on the yeah, shore down there? It washes up on the shore. And so I, I mulch everything as best I can with this. I have to watch out for the little seedlings that are still coming through the soil. But I just line it up like this and um, I just covered the little lettuce seedlings I transplanted because of the bright sunshine, yeah. but those will come off tonight. This is my signature crop. You wouldn't know it right now. I still have some inside that I'm going to bring out. This is my celery, and this is what really likes the eelgrass because it's so stringy that it absorbs all the salt from the eelgrass, and it's really tasty. I only transplant or try to transplant when I know there's going to be some cloudy weather. So I'll be listening to you carefully, Todd. When All right. I'll, I know we're going to have two overcast days. I will try to provide know. some cloudy, okay, cloudy damp weather thank for you, you Joan. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no way you can eat all of this. No, we, we share it with our neighbors. I bring some up to the pantry. I used to do the plant a row program with the master gardeners. Mm -hmm. And um, now I just what sort of that? dedicate, like all these beans, a lot of those beans will go to the pantry. Oh, okay. Joan, thanks again for having us at your garden. Um, if you want to learn more from Joan, you can on our website, our mobile app, YouTube channel too as well. And we'll catch you next time as we continue to grow together. We're growing with Joan Benoit Samuelson on Gardening with Gutner.